Oh my goodness, GD. Where's this B? Why are you using a Necron helmet? Look, guys, I actually use the Avatar helmet, but um, I'm just say Toronto helmet is absolute garbage. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if you have the money like me, because I just liquidated most of my uh, my Hyperion just to, so I can Star farm. But if you have the money, please do not use the Toronto helmet. I'll show you how much better the Toronto helmet is. As I mean, the Necron helmet is over the Toronto helmet. So yeah. So first of all, because I cannot afford a recombobulator, I turn the helmet. Let me just show you guys how much recombobulators are right now. Why? Like, why is it seven million coins? Why? Yeah. So um, point is, I am not gonna afford. I'm not gonna afford a recombobulator for a helmet I don't even use. Like, why? All right, so um yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is to clear all my tuning points from um, a failed attempt of recording this video. Yeah, I'm I'm that bad at recording videos, but and uh, you know my upload schedule is amazing. Only posted my last video like like other than those few videos like four months ago or something. I don't even I, I I clicked the wrong mouse button. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my stats. I have around I have. 680 magical power, 570, and I'm on silky, which gives 575 crit damage. I have a, I have a tier six with a, a few tier seven enchants. I don't even know what I'm thinking when I put a tier seven enchant. And um, these are my stat breakdown, I guess. <coughs> and yeah, um, my giant swords five star, full necron all five star. I'll I'll swap over, and I'm also using a mishro golem. Because I'm not gonna, you know, actually sorrow farm and use a wolf because I am too broke to afford a golden dragon. Please give con. I'm oh, just kidding. Don't just <sighs> begging for contraband. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, this is. Uh, I'm just gonna kill one ghost. Oh my god, I'm just gonna kill a ghost and then let Soul Eater proc and do its thing. Okay, yeah, Soul Eater did not proc. Um, yeah, eight hundred and seventy-four thousand damage. Yeah, 800,000 damage, 875, 875, 875, 875,000, yeah, yeah, you get the point. Okay, so, now, I'm gonna swap over to Torrental Helmet, and of course, since I do not have a recon, I'm gonna put 7 strength on the tuning points. Why? Well, because from epic from epic to legendary, the ancient bonus would go from 18 to 25. Now I don't know if this is ex okay. Now I may have gotten my math wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that would that eight that 25 minus 18 is seven. Yeah, so. I may use the hurtful power instead for this. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I'm just gonna. I think Sulky has a better strength to crit damage. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna put eight points on this. Not eight. I mean seven. Okay, so seven points. Now I'm gonna warp forge. And now I am going to go to wherever the ghost is. And oh my god. I, I, I. And yeah, we've got a ghost sweat here. I'm just ignore him. Yeah, I'm only doing a 700,000 damage. Okay, I'm, I'm just a bit. Okay, 854,000. 854,000, yeah, it's slightly worse than the Necron Helmet. Yeah, so there's a Necron Helmet, this is a Tarantula Helmet. So, yeah, I mean, like, look, if you're trying to min-max damage, you should absolutely go for Necron Helmet. Because it just does more damage. Okay, that's that does not count, because... Yeah, I, I just did 1 million, okay, the only reason I did 1 million damage there was because of the, because, um, for some reason, um, ru runic mobs just, um, I have no idea how it works, okay, but runic mobs just, they just make Soul Eater, like, you know, do 
a bit more damage. So, what have we learned from this demonstration? <coughs> the Necron Helmet is better than the Tarantula Helmet, of course, but I would still say Tarantula Helmet is an okay helmet if you can't afford a Necron Helmet, because first of all, I placed two perfects, but even two fines would be good enough, and, but still, it's like, but still, this Necron Helmet, the lowest win is just 20 mil, for a recom, recom, it'll be about uh, well, for recom, the raw craft would be like around, let's just say, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to say around 24 million. You know what? In, let's take a look at Necron Helmet price. Just so I can show you the price gap and why a Tarantula Helmet may still be a viable web, uh, a viable helmet. Right, okay, yeah, it's 26 mil. Yeah. So yeah, this is 26 mil helmet. Actually, it's like 40 mil because of two perfect Jaspers, which give like extra 32 strength. Against this Tarantula helmet, which is only like 800,000, maybe even if the recom is only like, what, five, like five, six mil. So I'd say Tarantula helmet is still okay enough. But the Necron helmet is definitely better. But you may be asking, but you may be asking right now, why not a Warden Helmet? Well, you see, here's the thing. Although the Warden Helmet definitely does more damage, when you're grinding ghosts, this is just an example, this guy's using a Warden Helmet and he's like killing like half the ghosts, like he's doing it really slow. I, on the other hand, I can just run around and, okay, just pretend I'm actually killing the ghosts, but I can just run around, just hit, 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 hit all the ghosts. Of course you can use a Crimson Helmet, but, but like, that's too expensive. 